But uh, one guy, if you didn't watch him play. Lamar Jackson, I mean, he literally is Superman at this point. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone. I mean, if Tyreek Hill's gro- going with Tua, maybe. But I don't know if there's anyone more spectacular to watch. Just because at any given moment, he is going to do something that is amazing to to witness. And so you mentioned they started out 0-2. Now they've won four straight. They look great. And it's like the old Tupac song, How Do You Want It? Right, Lamar Jackson's rushed for over 400 yards, two scores already this season. Number two all time now, rushing for a quarterback, which is incredible. He's averaging more than six yards a carry. Then six, six yards a, a carry, carry is, is ridiculous. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. By the way, the scary part if you're going up against the Ravens, you know who's almost averaging six yards himself? Derrick Henry. So it's like, how do you want it? Like I said with the Tupac song, what am I supposed to do? But then let's go to the part, Rob Parker, where people like to say for the last few seasons, yeah, but he just can't pass. He just can't pass. Well, he's currently averaging the highest passing yards per game in his career, 255. He's also fifth in the NFL in QBR, fourth in raw QBR rating, fourth in passing yards, fifth in touchdown passes. He's in the top five in everything. And number one in first down percentage. So he is just absolutely it's become video games circa 2002, 2003, Mike Vick. When you play with him on, e- on Madden, where your friends will say, no, you can't play with him. It's not fair. Well, that's what Lamar Jackson has become. And the only thing that I would say, I'm still, he still can improve, right? Every single person can improve on something. He still needs to knock down those three foot putts. That's the only thing. Meaning, those couple of easy passes, a guy maybe he's flanked out to the left, he's wide open, sometimes still under or overthrows him. So there's still that to be left to be desired. But he looks ridiculous, and I can't believe You know who I'm mad at? The entire NFL. How did y'all let this man team up with Derrick Henry? Uh, it is amazing. <laughs> How and- did y'all let him get? You see what he does with no backs, because all of their backs were hurt last year. Now you give him arguably the best back the last five, six, seven years. And he years. looks rejuvenated. He looks yep. great. And And here's the other thing, too. You talked about it. Lamar Jackson has thrown for 671 yards the last two games. It's not just him just all running, running, right, and, oh, well, you don't know who, who's going to run. Is it him, Derek? No, he's throwing a football. Throwing it, and, and, and his has Zay Flowers looking great. Had a career yard, 100-plus uh, yards for him. Uh, he's got some weapons. Obviously, you know, they got the tight ends, Anders and Likely. Uh, they're just a scary team. This is why you and I have agreed they're just the best team because – I can come into a game with them, no matter the opponent, and know what I'm getting, right? I know what I'm getting. The defense can continue to tighten up a little bit, but I like what I'm getting. I know what Lamar's going to do. I know what Derrick Henry, and let the chips fall where they may. You know what I mean? Whereas other teams, I don't know what I'm getting from the Bills tonight. I think Kansas City Chiefs, I don't think that, I don't know. Is the offense going to ball out? There's a few teams where you're like, I like them, but uh, uh." with the Ravens, you know what you're getting. And I like that in my teams. Where I walk into it knowing I got a fighting chance because we're going to do X, Y, and Z night in, night out. Here's here's my thing. I I think it's totally, and I get it. We're in this world where you know if you don't win a championship, you're not validated. And this is okay. By the way, I hate that. I, and I'm gonna say why. It has its place, but I we've gotten carried away. We totally carried away, and and this is what they do with Lamar Jackson. Okay, like even now, well, no, no matter what he does, oh well, he hasn't won a championship. Well, well, it wasn't that long ago that Dan Marino, that people were saying that Dan Marino was the was the goat, the best quarterback they'd ever seen, and he didn't win a, the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. In fact, he went to a Super Bowl his second year and never went back. But nobody held it against Dan Marino because you saw what kind of player he was a tremendous quarterback. Okay, we cannot totally discount or poo poo his career uh, and other guys who never won a. Ch- Everybody can't win a championship. And I just mean can't from the standpoint that it takes a whole lot of people. Right. Like basketball, if you're that great, you can control it a bit more, yeah, right? Because well, there's only five. It's guys. only five guys. Right. You play football, both sides of the ball, be, right? Football, you could be great offensively, and your defense gives it up, or whatever. Or vice or versa, you you're a, the most amazing defensive player ever, right. but your you can, team can never or score points. Or you have points. a bad head coach, or yeah. whatever, whatever it is. There's a lot of stuff. But in my case, I don't know how you could watch Lamar Jackson. Watch him play and not think that this guy will get it figured out and will win a Super Bowl. I, he, Absolutely He don't he feel will. like that guy to me where it's like, well, I put up these numbers, but he'll never win. I'm trying to tell you when I covered Michael Jordan in his early days, remember it took seven years, yeah, right? Yeah. There were people who said that about Michael Jordan. Oh, 
He's a great player. Yeah, yeah, he scored 63 points against the uh, Celtics. Whatever. He don't make his teammates better, and he can win all the, game, all the stuff and dunk contests and all that stuff, but he's he not going to win a championship. That's what they thought about Michael Jordan. I'm not saying Lamar is Michael Jordan. I'm just saying be careful with painting a guy on, with, a, with that kind of brush. If you, I, I would love to hear from you. Are you still using that crutch after watching this guy's won two MVPs, mm-hmm. right? Almost two unanimous, one by one vote that he didn't. And he's on track. How in the world is uh, Mahomes ahead of him in the MVP? Because Mahomes is not having an MVP. No, it that's, just, that's just their saying. That's reputation. Yeah, reputation and just you. But, but am I right? I mean, like, like Lamar is Lamar is, is playing MVP infinitely right better now. than Lamar than than uh, than Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. That's without a doubt. And Patrick Mahomes would say that too. That's one thing I like about him. He's you know he's admitted that he's like I'm just keep working on my fundamentals every day, trying to get right. He's not like he's not sugarcoating or acting like he's just been amazing. And he's credited the defense. So shout out to Patrick Mahomes for doing that, not acting like I don't see it. Y'all don't know how good I am. Right. He's like yo, I'm not. I'm struggling a little bit right now. Well, Lamar, you know what? A couple of points I want to make. People, listen, let me look in this camera for Elijah. I know sports debate shows. Rob and I get into it, have a little fun sometimes. It's okay to just appreciate greatness. It's okay. It's okay to just be like, wow, Lamar Jackson is fantastic, and I love the fact that I get to watch him for three, three and a half or hours every day. watch the guy play. Or watch I just, him play. Like, it, you don't have to. Instead of always, right. Well, he didn't do this. Well, he didn't do that. You know he hasn't beaten Patrick Mahomes. Dog, I get there with my chips and guac or my popcorn. I said, this boy is good, and it's okay to enjoy it. And we'll get there. We'll have the conversations be in the time, postseason. Right. And if he, and if he, if he goes has a whole career them. and he never wins, then you could use that. But yeah. to just use that. Every time he does something great, he goes, well, but he's never won a Super Bowl or he's the, never gotten the to the Super Bowl. The only thing I'll say they to that. They used to say that to about a lot of players. I'm, we talked about it before. Jason Tatum and the Celtics. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. He never won. I just don't trust him. He but, never won a Super Bowl, a championship. And guess what they did this year? Uh, the Joker. Yeah, you can win all the MVPs you want. Yeah, but you got to win a ring. What do you do? I mean, LeBron. Believe I know people are we, we're tired of it now because he's, he's won a bunch and he's gone so many times. But until he had to win one, right? And so you have to do that. I do think it's a compliment when you reach that air where we say, well, you haven't won it. Because it's a compliment. Because basically we're saying, man, you've been dominating so long, winning MVPs, winning you know awards, putting up stats, getting to the postseason, but not getting far enough. So it's, it's a backhanded compliment that we're saying, well, you can't win the big one because all that says is you keep showing up, getting to big games and games that matter, games that count, primetime games, but you got to win it. But I will say what I've been watching is a, is a slight parallel to it reminds me of Peyton Manning, who eventually, of course, would win a couple. Uh, but it took him a minute to get there because he couldn't beat Brady. And I do see a little but he was winning MVPs, putting up crazy numbers, breaking records. And it kind of does remind me at times a little bit of uh, of Lamar Jackson and also Patrick Mahomes kind of being the new era. 2.0 of Manning and Brady, these stars that are the best quarterbacks in their position, the best quarterbacks for a decade, then a generation, but one can't quite beat the other one yet. So we'll see what happens later on this season. But man, I just enjoy Lamar Jackson. And I think it's a shame that we've gotten so debate crazy, even politically, right? You can have a nuanced conversation. It's got to be Trump's the worst ever. No, Kamala, I hate her. I've never voted. It's like, whoa, everything is so divisive. Lamar Jackson is fun. He's talented. He's great. And I think it's okay and, to and, just embrace that. And it's that. okay that fans want him to win and, and, should, and eventually but, hold it, but hold him ac- accountable, right, to win. And I get that. I don't, I'm not saying that we're giving him a pass, but we're in this throes of a regular season. He can't do anything about not the yet. postseason until he gets there. Not yet. And you can't always keep throwing that out no matter what. Look at this guy's a chance to win a, a third he won already two MVPs, mm-hmm. younger than anybody, and he got a chance to win a third. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, a third it, it, it MVP, is his to it, it right? unless Jaden Daniels or CJ Stroud just go crazy, and you know, for like a ten straight games of three hundred plus yards, three touchdowns, something crazy. It's his to lose because the the thing about Lamar, give me a pen, I can pen or pencil this in. Lamar Jackson, two hundred yards, passing, minimum seventy five rushing five spectacular plays and two touchdowns every single game. There's not a lot of guys I can do that for right now in this in this NFL. You know what I mean? Where I'm two two fifties passing, maybe a touchdown, maybe a hundred rushing and a touchdown. Let me just start there. 
and three highlights that'll be top three plays on, on uh, Sports Center. So he's just that spectacular that I just enjoy watching him. And I think, and that's why you, again, you and I, with that running game, the way he makes plays, that's why they're the best team to me right now because I know going in. And that's why I'm big on the Lions because I, I know what I'm getting from those two teams. Like, all right, this is what they do night in, night out. They have an identity. And I like that in my teams. Pick the sport, it doesn't matter. I like knowing. Win, lose, or draw. This is what we do. This is how we get down, and this is what I can expect. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching him, how can you not embrace this guy? And I'm just talking about as wa- as watching a just player. That's great. all. We're not talking about it's your favorite team or anything. I, I I see when I watch this guy play, I know I'm watching a difference maker. Oh, without I, a doubt. I, last year, he didn't have the greatest stats either, but but you have to look at him bigger than that, broader than that, and now with Derrick Henry. Man, it's, that is just treacherous if you're a defense. All right, 877 99 on Fox. Has your opinion of Lamar Jackson changed so far this season? Or will you still hold the postseason shortcomings against him? That's really what we're asking. Mm-hmm. Have you changed your mind and looked at this guy who could possibly win a third MVP? And what is he, 27, Rob G? Third MVP which at 20. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. It feels like we've been talking about Lamar Jackson for at least 22 years. That's crazy. Like he went to high school with me or something. 